Today, I'm speaking with Aoife and Stefan, who are two members of the CPE team. And we've been seeing a lot of CPE on the CentOS mailing lists over the last few months, going back to, what, November-ish, roughly, when, when we have really started seeing more of you all. Um, and some people within the community have had some questions as to who you are and what your role is. So let's start with the simple thing. What is CPE? So I suppose, Rich, CPE is where well, there's about 26 people in CPE, which are basically people ranging from the software engineers to system admins to documentation people. And we have people all around the globe. So we have people in EMEA, North America, LATAM, APAC, and pretty much all working together to help build services and keep the infrastructure alive for CentOS and Fedora. So I think that's pretty much what we are in a nutshell from a, a, a thousand feet kind of view, viewpoint. Anything else to add, Aoife? Um, yeah, so we also, you forgot to mention as well, the, um, they're a bit of a team for hire. So we also take brand new initiatives into our remit and we look at them for our quarterly planning. And outside of our lights on work that keeps the, the infrastructures maintained and services operational, we do look to try and to the, bring to the communities new features, new requests that they may like to see within their within their infrastructures. So we, we do that too. We're a jack of all trades. Looking forward to the, the coming months, uh, there was an email from CPE that talked about what the priorities are for for Q4. Can you give us a, a high level overview of what these three things are? So the three things were CentOS stream work, uh, noggin, and relling infra work. Can you tell us what those mean roughly? Yeah, sure. So um, since January last year, CPE have gone are going through um, a bit of an agile transformation and part of that we take on quarterly planning in the last quarter quarterly planning session we were looking at work that we were going to be doing in q4 of this year so that's october november and december and um, the ones that were highlighted as as priority items were the noggin project which sees the replacement of the current fedora uh, authentication system. It's also important for CentOS because the board ruled this year that it would be beneficial for both communities and our team who service both communities to bring the CentOS accounts under that fold as well so that the guys who are on one team are not maintaining two solutions for the same authentication piece. So that is going to be underway this quarter. We are hoping to deliver it in early January of next year. We were hoping to deliver it around the November timeframe, but because there, it's, it's a big one, mm -hmm. there's a lot of work involved. We want to make sure that it's reliable and it's going to stand to the test of time and also going to be able to be uh, updated far more easily the next time around. Um, we've decided to focus a lot more on some developmental work, but we have uh, Fabian Rotten, people will know him from around the CentOS community, now heavily engaged with that. And he's very hands on with making sure that the CentOS pieces are well looked after within that. We also have Shock CentOS Stream. It is the next minor, it's hoping to be the next minor RHEL release. And it is built from a CentOS infrastructure perspective. It is really cool. It's headed up by Brian Stinson, another celebrity, I would imagine, around the, oh, he's my hero, um, around the CentOS community. And the guys have been doing excellent work. This quarter, we're going to try and get the build system operational itself. And we are hopefully going to pad out the infrastructure even more to make it more standalone. They've already had a CentOS stream release package that was sent out that you can convert easily your CentOS Linux machine to CentOS stream. I did it successfully. The video looks like there was a lot of work in it, but we had the hardest part was me trying to share my screen. <laughs> the actual package itself is ridiculously easy to, to use. And they completed that in Q3, so we're just building on that success for Q4. Uh, you also mentioned the RelEng and Infra teams. So they are, that team itself was the sustaining team. It was the lights on responsive division of the wider CPE team that was uh, replying to issues and bugs and any anything that went down, any anything that you came across that you wanted to highlight. There was somebody from that team uh, responding to it. They're still there. 
it is a continuous thing and they will always be part of CPE. We would hope to then just have other smaller subsections of our team work on specific projects. So there are three main ones for Q4. We're also going to be looking at um, OSBS for Arch64, but that is building off of the project that we had already been working on in May that was in Fedora staging, then Fedora staging moved, then it wasn't in it anymore. So now we're rebuilding it in the new Fedora. So we're hoping to benefit that for uh, Fedora IoT next year. And hopefully CentOS will find some benefit of having OSBS built in that architecture as well. How were these projects selected? How are these, how are these priorities determined? What we have is in CP, what we have is we have a kind of a whole kind of a quarterly planning process that we go through. So it's, it kind of starts way back probably around initiatives or ideas that come in, in in various ways. So I think they come in via some of the stakeholders. So obviously the community is a stakeholder as well. So people might come in in terms of providing input into the CentOS board, for example, reaching out to people in CentOS itself. Um, they may come in via IRC or project kind of initiative templates or whatever whatever way it might be. So the idea is to try to gather all those kind of initiative ideas, bring them forward, then kind of pad them out in terms of um, understanding what kind of initiatives they are, what kind of resourcing it would take to, um, to complete them. And we also try to kind of chunk them in terms of can they be completed in a quarter or would, they, would we need to phase them and, and various kind of other things like that. So once all that's kind of brought together and Aoife does a great job there trying to pull all that together for the stakeholders and for the, for the team to have a look at, we then will go through a kind of a, a quarterly planning kind of process where we would have uh, various inputs into um, looking at the various initiatives and what, and what we can do with them and um, how they can be resourced, how we can build them, how we can, you know, are they reasonable? Um, would they bring benefit? All those, all those types of reasonings go into it. We then maybe even might go into like insights in terms of we might meet the stakeholders then to talk to them about these initiatives, what they think, get their feelings on it. We also talk to our own team as well in terms of getting insights in terms of how difficult we think they, these might be to, to build or maintain or whatever it is. Um, and then we would we would bind up all that information give that back out to various stakeholders, Fedora st stakeholders, CentOS stakeholders, CP are a stakeholder in this process as well. Um, and we would just basically then come to a, an agreement uh, based upon some guiding principles around what we feel would be the initiatives we should look at for the next uh, quarter. And anything I suppose that doesn't get on to the initiatives for this quarter, we always have a backlog of mm -hmm of items as well that we're always we're always looking at as well and just because it doesn't get onto one quarter's initiative you know it may stack up for the next quarter then as well but look i think it's a pretty um fair process in terms of the different stakeholders that we that we um have relationships with all get a pretty even vote in what we should be doing and, and you know and we go from there then so if people within the community have suggestions requests they should bring them to IRC to the mailing lists to me personally, and uh, I'll be filtering those into CPE. And we're hoping to increase the community's voice in this going forward and increase transparency around this. No, I think as well. Look, we're open to um, you know having any of the community reach out to us as well with some other ways that they feel that they could you know get get these initiatives ideas to us as well. So you know these are the these are the kind of touch points we have at the moment, but there may be other ways as well. So, you know, totally open to anyone coming up with any suggestions or ideas about a better process or a better way to reach out to us with those ideas. Um, because like Aoife said as well, we are kind of on a on a kind of a, the team itself is on a kind of an agile transformation journey as well. So we're learning and we're trying to feed back in, you know, um, how we're doing it after every quarter as well. And that's a really important part of, of our process too. So definitely would, welcome any type of feedback or any type of ideas in terms of how people can reach us in, in better ways. Can you give us a few examples of some of the things that didn't make the cut that are maybe on the list for uh, Q1, Q2? So we had a spec in for image builder and composers that would look at the, the composer build system and have a builder dedicated for just images at the compose level. 
Um, I reckon that will go across both infrastructures, be usable for Fedora and CentOS. The only reason, well, one of, but the main reason I didn't make the cut for Q4 is that it's, it's a fairly sizable um, project. We reckon that it would take nearly 16 weeks, it's four months. Given that Q4 covers Christmas and Thanksgiving, and some major holidays, New Year's, uh, didn't think it was very fair or practical to ask the team to look at a four month initiative over two, two and a half months. So that's going to certainly make its way into Q1, Q2 of next year for sure. We also are trying to retire Fed message for any of the CentOS community folk who are also in the Fedora community pool. Uh, Fed message is the messenger service that the Fedora infrastructure uses. It's crap. Um, so, <laughs> well, it's not, it just, it needs to be redone. It, there's been an effort there for a while. They have Fedora messaging, um, a Fedora messaging replacement. So we're looking to progress the FMN replacement project early next year. We're already progressing Fedora messaging schemas on a part-time basis, which sees us replacing a lot of the, the Fed message stuff with new schemas to allow for the Fedora messaging service. Stream is also looking at that to possibly include some way to have that service in there as well for their their user notifications. So they would be two of the main ones coming up, I would say, for 2021. Over the coming weeks, I'm going to be talking with some of the teams that are involved in the specific efforts so you can see what they're working on, what challenges they're facing, and what improvements to your life you can expect to come out of those projects. Thank you, Aoife and Stefan, for speaking with me today. And Good luck with all your work. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks, Thanks Rich. Rich. Rich, by the way, I'm on IRC in the CentOS meeting channel every second Tuesday of the month at 1500 UTC. So if anybody wants to stop by and chat projects or anything else, we don't have to talk about projects, but you can, of course, you can always catch me there. And there was probably one last probably point as well, Rich, just in terms of our Q1 planning. So for quarter one, if anyone does have any kind of ideas or wants to kind of bubble those up to us, then I think that the date is probably the 27th of November, Aoife, where yeah. uh, that will be kind of our submission deadline date. So if anyone does have any ideas or wants to get submissions in before then, then please, like we said, reach out in those ways, IRC, through yeah. Rich, through the CentOS board, or, yeah. way, or the, 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 the lists as well. Yeah, we had a tagline for you, Rich. It was reach out to Rich. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> you can also reach out to me as well directly. You can fire me an email at amaloney at redhat.com as well. Or reach me on IRC. I think my nick is A Maloney or A Maloney one. I forget. I keep logging myself out. Thank you very much. No problem. Pleasure talking to you. Cheers.